Right, welcome back to part two. Uh, this time, uh, if as you remember before, I managed to get the VR to work very smoothly while uh, streaming and recording at the same time. And so now, um, this is going to try and get my DSLR to connect to OBS so I can use it as like my webcam. So, uh, enjoy! Right, now let's try and get this bad boy on the go. So, right, I, I did come across this tutorial earlier, so I don't need you anymore. Um, because I have a Nikon. Nikon? Nikon? I like to say Nikon. I have a Nikon DSLR that um, I like, and I got it as a gift. I don't have money to um, throw on equipment. I only got the Hair Revive because um, I did a part-time job during the summer, and I saved up for it. Um, and I really, really wanted a VR kit. I should probably actually turn off my uh, bases now that I'm not using them anymore. How to connect near and the light to OBS. So, yeah, I saw this person who's got a. If you have a second monitor, that's totally fine. But... Have a look. Uh, program use Digicam control. So, what I remember from the start of the video is that it's also use a USB. Got some cables in here somewhere. Shit. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, we have to. Oh, please save up the cable somewhere. I took it out and put it somewhere. Oh, I didn't, did I? Fuck. Fuck. It means I have to go into my cupboard, which is at the moment being blocked off by my computer and VR base stands to get into my big yellow box which has most of my equipment in. You'll uh, probably see a video about that in the future. I have took it off um, my previous previous vlog stuff. But, fuck, I'm sorry. I got it taxed. My important friend has messaged me again. Uh, the text is off another friend. Um, he's once picking up in a minute, so I'm gonna have to go do that. Uh, yep. Yeah. Just can't swim under the modules. I have to power it off, so it might just take a break now. Hmm. Right. Oh, it's downloaded. Okay. Um, so let this bad boy download. Back at uni again tomorrow. Uh, I just want a day off forever so I can do stuff. <laughs> Why? Uh, options. Install location. I'm going to put it on my E drive. What's the E drive? Where is it? Where's my E drive? It's because I'm on the wrong thing. <laughs> okay. What? It's unknown. <gasps> Please wait while we set up. Wizard prepares to guide you through the installation. Computing space requirements. It should have plenty of space. Thank you very much. I have ensured that there is plenty of space. Very good. I accept my soul to be taken away. You do not go in there. I'm taking everything out of the C drive because, um. Yeah. Let's turn the PC off because I have to now lift it and move it out of the way slightly so I can get to my cupboard. Oh, I hate doing that because it means I have to unplug a couple cables. Because some of them don't reach, they're not long enough. I've got a shitty desk, man. You know what, I'm actually going to show you my desk, it, it's really shit. Like, I mean, student housing, man, their desks are 
shite. See this? This is my desk, right? It's not very big. My TV is hanging off the edge. My computer monitor is just kind of taking most of the space because, like, yeah, computer monitor is pretty good though. So I've got a fucking file drawers that I took from home to extend my desk for like three view, which is right next to a door, right? Which keeps slamming into that. And then I've got a cupboard over here, right? Which is blocked off by this, because <coughs> I can't put anything in the walls, otherwise I would've used the wall mount. I've got my computer there, because it can't fit under there, that's too small. I can't even fit my desk chair under it. I can't, I can just barely fit my legs under it. Um, what else? You know what's really annoying? Sitting over there, right in that corner. You see it? You see that bad boy? That is fucking two plugs. In this whole bedroom, there is two plugs. And I have over 15 devices that need plugs. So what do we do? We daisy chain! Even though you're not supposed to, but you know. Daisy chain. It's the only way I can survive and fuck. Like, dear student landlords, put more plugs into the house. We need more plug sockets. Please. Especially for people like me who do media and we require a ton a ton of gear. I've got two plugs sitting outside, actually. I've got two plugs sitting right outside my bedroom door. Right, which I have to use an extension cable going under the door, coming all the way around, just so I can charge my phone, my watch, my other base station, and also use my lava lamp sometimes, because I like it. But guess what? I'm doing what I have to do to survive in houses with limited stuff. Well, no, I've, I've turned everything off. Time to move my stuff. And I'm trying to decide whether to have a KFC... Please don't do that. Whether to have a KFC tonight or a McDonald's. I think I'm going to do a McDonald's tonight. Why? Because I forgot to unfreeze my food. So now I have frozen food. I don't have much neither. It's because at the moment all I've got left before, before, I, go sh before I go shopping again, I I've got frozen food that I've had frozen since before Christmas and I need to finish it off well I know I'm not in a hurry to finish it off I just don't want to I just don't want to buy more food when I've still got food left I want to finish off what I got and then go shops and buy more shit right let's move this bad boy oh nice and carefully nice and carefully my precious little toy shit what, what cables pulling me back I'm trying to be delicate. The, the, like this is how much I care for my stuff. I'm trying to be really slow and delicate. So if anyone says I don't care for my stuff just because my laptop turned to shit, it's bullshit. I love my stuff. I care for my stuff. But it all just breaks on me. Everything I have breaks on me, even though I look after it. God damn, I need a room that's like fucking I just need an entire studio for myself. I need a warehouse. Someone could buy me a warehouse that I can keep forever, I could, I, I'd much appreciate that. Someone could buy me a warehouse that I can keep forever and not pay rent on it or anything like that. Or, or just give me 10 million pounds, like that'd be much appreciated. Or 100 million actually, I could do with 100 million pounds. You know, just get me going. I'm gonna nick the camera for a second and move you over here. That's recording my audio right now because I'm not putting it through the computer. That's just because of the VR I was doing a minute ago. You know what, fuck it. I'm gonna leave it on the tripod and just gonna bring the tripod down. Let's bring you up. Oh, hey. Right, I need to unravel this cable. I don't think I've ever unraveled it before. Hello, now you can see me again. I'm just gonna bring the camera down. I'm just gonna just, yeah, there we go, oh yeah. I mean, there's a bit of a frame issue. Bit of a quality issue, actually. It's um, 
just for the time being, obviously this will not be the final quality, it's just so I can, um, but yeah, we don't really want you uh, seeing my internet. <laughs> You're only using one monitor, you kind of want that to go to the background. So now you're going to open up OBS and you're going to add a new source. So you're going to click on add. Like capture cursor because you don't want it to capture your cursor in case you have to do anything on this. Whoa! <laughs> and then add it. Oh, this is pretty. And now from here, this is where you get to customize it. I suppose it'll do. Alright, so I've discovered my DSLR issue. Well, not issue, but I've, um... Okay, so, first off, I've mo mostly fixed my, um... VR and live stream issue. So I can now record, live stream, and VR. So that will be... Expect more VR streams now! All I've got to do is start working on my own model. Which I might do streams of me making the model. Or avatar, whatever you want to call it. I've sort of figured out a way to get my DSLR as a webcam. I guess it's better than most webcams that claim to be 1080p and really it's just a piece of shit. It's like 144 I think. 144. It's just expanded into 1080p screen or some shit like that. I don't know. Um, but that is everything, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to take a look at my website and sign up to the um, email list. Subscribe to this YouTube. Subscribe to my other YouTubes, which will be at the end of the video. Ooh, I don't like this opposite thing. Follow me on Twitter at the underscore Mindstorm. Follow my Instagram, I guess, uh, Mindstorm underscore Insta. And all my other stuff, all the links in the description below. That is everything for today. I will see you around whenever. Bye. Say that it feels right.